Famsi, thanks for talking with us. Um, now we're standing in front of this control room here. Um, can you tell us what these, these grid controllers are actually doing here? This, this is, they're managing the New England grid, but what are they actually doing? These operators here are responsible for making sure that the New England power grid is reliable and it's maintained on a reliable basis every second of every day. So we have operators that are focused on the generation that's on the power system, the transmission system, the load that's on the power system, and making sure that there's the perfect balance across each of those key power system elements. And so for us, this is sort of the nerve center, if you will, whereby any situation that happens on the power system, we're able to respond to it quickly and very efficiently to make sure that consumers get the power and that the lights stay on. So this is a wholesale market, so they're not actually, there's no power generation done here, but these people are um, essentially telling people how much power the grid needs? These operators have a lot of tools and basically displays that help guide them. And every instant, they send signals out to our generation portfolio that basically says where we expect them to be. Do we expect them to produce more megawatts or do we expect them to produce less megawatts? And they do it to make sure that the supply and load are constantly maintained in balance. So while we do not own these assets, we control these assets and we are responsible for sending dispatch signals to them on a very periodic basis. Okay, great. Now, the New England ISO is, is doing a, um, a smart grid project um, yes. where it has nothing to do with smart meters. Can you tell us? But it has a lot to do with data, so I could just describe it. New England, and especially ISO New England's responsibilities on the wholesale side. And so while smart meters are on the retail at the consumer end, we are looking at the transmission and at the wholesale markets. From that perspective, what is critical for our control room operators is information. We need to be able to know what's happening on the power system, and the sooner we know it, the better. So our smart grid project is geared to placing high-speed sensors at key locations on the power grid. And what these high-speed sensors do is take snapshots of the power system on a very frequent basis, as much as 30 times each second, mm -hmm. and send that information to the grid operator. We then use that information to enhance the situational awareness so the control room operators can monitor the health of the power system almost instantaneously and thereby make sure that the reliability is further enhanced. That's our primary purpose between, for this phase of project. As a next step, we want to use the data collected from this project to better optimize the way that the grid is dispatched, but that's the next stage for us. Now, how, now you, how important is this as the grid uses more renewables? Uh, isn't that an important part of it all? Absolutely. If you are to think about renewable resources, which by their nature are intermittent and variable, so if you are to look at wind as to when wind picks up or wind tails off, it's quite unpredictable. So while we have wind forecasting tools, we need to be able to respond to a sudden surge of wind or in case wind tails off. So to meet the supply and demand and make sure that it's always balanced, we need to know a, as quickly as possible what's happening with these renewable portfolios that are on the grid, and these phasers give us that information almost instantaneously. Great. Okay. Thanks very much, Bouncy. Thank you.